Any physical object has invisible radiation, including humans, synthetic or natural objects. Everything emits energy. This energy is called electromagnetic radiation. Different objects emit electromagnetic energy at different frequencies. The higher the frequency of the radiation, the higher its energy levels. If electromagnetic radiation has high frequency, it can remove electrons from atoms and have the potential to damage human cells and DNA. Such radiation is called ionizing EMR, electromagnetic radiation. Examples of ionizing radiation is sunlight, sunbeds, x-ray machines, radioactive waste. Low frequency waves are called non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing does not carry enough energy per quantum to ionize atoms or molecules. Ionize means remove an electron from an atom or molecule. Examples of non-ionizing radiation are Bluetooth devices, cell phones, computers, Wi-Fi networks, microwaves, power lines, MRI machines. Visible light is also non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation. Bluetooth devices emit low levels of non-ionizing radiation because. Bluetooth waves don't travel very far. In fact, most Bluetooth devices typically have a maximum connectivity range of only 30 feet or 9 meter. This distance is also reduced when walls and other obstacles are present. Bluetooth waves typically operates within a frequency range of 2.402 to 2.480 gigahertz. This occurs in the same wavelength as the frequencies used by microwaves, Wi-Fi, and mobile phones. Exposure to low amounts of this type of radiation is not harmful to humans. Because according to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, routine exposure to non-ionizing radiation is generally perceived as harmless to humans. But it is not whole story. There are some additional questions and red flags which we should consider. The CDC state that non-ionizing radiation is only dangerous when a person comes into intense, direct contact with it. Also, non-ionizing EMR can still heat substances, for instance, microwave ovens use microwaves, a non-ionizing EMR, to heat food. So, theoretically it can affect human also, especially if we use devices for hours, near us, and frequently. Researchers have found that the chance of pregnancy loss is almost three times more likely after experiencing exposure to high levels of non-ionizing EMR. In 2011, the International Agency for Research on Cancer classified this type of radiation as Group 2B, a possible human carcinogen. This classification was based on an increased risk for glioma and acoustic neuroma, a type of brain cancer, related to cell phone use. However, the FDA note that in the United States, brain cancer rates have remained the same despite an increase in cell phone usage. This consistency suggests that cell phone usage may not increase the risk of brain cancer. In general, the amount of radiation Bluetooth headphones emit is significantly less than what's generated from a typical cell phone. In fact, Bluetooth devices have a power density 10 to 400 times lower than those of mobile phones. Federal Communications Commission, FCC, currently requires the specific absorption rate, SAR, for wireless devices to be 1.6 watts per kilograms or less. The SAR for Apple AirPods is about 0.466 watts per kilogram. In fact, Bluetooth has relatively low specific absorption rate, SAR, levels, further proving that it's not dangerous to humans. To summarize, according to current knowledge and evidences, usage of Bluetooth devices doesn't cause any serious harm to human body, but there is theoretical possibility of increased risk of brain cancer. But this risk is not tangible and important in case of Bluetooth devices because their radiation is non-ionizing in low intense.